what I'm saying is it doesn't make sense to ask what it is like to be a bat because a bat is a physical object. We think mm. of it as a physical object, yeah. not as an immediate experience. Mm. And we are, if we think of the bat as a physical object, we are embedded in the hard problem, the mind-body yeah. problem, the, mm. the impossible problem. So what I'm suggesting is you can't say there's anything it's like to be a bat, but you can say what is it like to be the bat's model of a bat. Yeah. Yeah. And from there, I'm going to say every model at every level, at every crisscrossy heterarchical part of this system, there's something it's like to be the model. Mm. Most of those models, the vast, vast, vast majority of the models in this brain and your brain, there's something it's like to be them, mm. but there's no observer because no. they're not modeling a self observing the thing so there's red coming there's plant coming there's you know there's there's all these things books and desks and a nice glass of wine um there are models of that through the visual system and through the taste system mm, which are not connected to me mm. but at the highest levels there's a there's a representation of an observer and so that's me, and I'm conscious of sitting here and drinking mm. my wine and talking to you. And that's what we call consciousness. Mm. But I would say there is something it is like to be all of the models in that system. Now, that's a pretty dramatic claim, and I'm just working with it and seeing whether it goes anywhere. Mm. But that's where I'm at at the moment. And as I've said before, I'm not scared anymore of being wrong. So you can <laughs> laugh at me if this doesn't go anywhere. But this is, this is my thought at the moment, and there's no hard problem. Because consciousness, in this view, consciousness does not arise at all. Mm. You haven't got the hard problem of how does, how does subjectivity arise from objective brains. It doesn't. Mm. Objective brains, well, we can only know them through modelling the brains. That's, you know, that's scientific modelling and individual modelling that there is a brain and so on. Mm. Mm. Um, and we, as long as we have a self-model, then that's what we think means I am conscious. But in meditation and so on, and with psychedelics in certain circumstances, that disappears. And then mm. there's stuff happening, but it's not happening to anybody. And I think that's how the whole system operates. And it's, that's why we're so deluded. And that's why I call my views delusionism, because I think we're just so deluded. Delusionism. <laughs> that's, another, that's another whole story. Oh, I've never heard I of delusionism. <laughs> I, let me I catch think up I with illusionism. I want to take my wine and go away, but um, yeah, yeah. Well, please don't go away. 